When I'm washing my hand, I often think of people say that soap kills bacteria. Well, according to like numerous video found on YouTube, soap is a kind of detergent which can dissolve oil or fat. And cell membrane is also made up by some type of fat. So soap can dissolve cell membrane. So technically, soap can kill bacteria by dissolving its cell membrane. So now since I use soap to wash my hand, does that mean my hand is uh, germ-free now? Well, clearly not. And I'm also thinking that this type of detergent stuff, you know, there's a lot of material that naturally occurred material has this detergent effect. So if bacteria can be easily killed off by detergent, aren't they like supposed to be already dead? No, you, you won't find it almost everywhere. So I'm thinking that it's just how good is soap at killing bacteria? So I decide to run a test. So I prepare eight bacteria. Three are from my collection and the five of them are, I isolated directly from my hand. And I'm going to mix them with the soap I got in my house. I'm using a 15% concentration of soap plus normal saline. So the final concentration after it's been mixed with the bacteria will be 7.5%, which is like two times more than we usually use, which is like three, around 3% 3 or something. That's the concentration we normally use to wash our hand with. And after incubation under 35 degree for 10 minutes, I'll plate the bacteria and see what's the result. So here, let's see the result. And since there's too many in colony, I don't bother to count them one by one. But we can see that compared to the group with soap treatment and without the soap treatment, obviously there's not much difference between them. And for some bacteria that you even like got more of them, the soap treatment just seems like increase the bacteria load. So here, I think the soap does not kill bacteria, but I do notice that the colony becomes smaller and also they grow much slower. So the soap actually did something to the bacteria. It's just not enough to kill them. Then what about antibacterial soap? Right, that's a thing. And there are a lot of products on the market. So I went out and buy three type of antibacterial soap that I can buy in the, I can find in the store, which uh, one is uh, is an international brand uh, imported soap. And another one is a body wash, which is also an international brand. Okay, and the third one is a pharmaceutical grade antibacterial soap that is made by a local company. Now the testing, the bacteria used in the testing and the method of testing is, is the same as the what I did on the normal soap. And the testing result look like this. 
and again because there are like so many colonies so I don't bother to count them one by one but anyway I turn this testing result that I hand write down into a spreadsheet okay and it's this the orange part means there's a significant drop on, on colony number and the green part means there is some drop on colony number but it's not very obvious or significant and you can see different soap performs differently there is no one type of soap that can kill all A bacteria using the test you might feel that this number two back, uh, number two soap has the best antibacterial effect but when you come to this one this bacteria 29212 it is the the number one soap has the best antibacterial effect on this bacteria and all the bacteria the a bacteria use in this test is all linked to personal hygiene so there is like no one soap kill them all so what should I do I mean prepare a lot of different type of soap and use them all or is there any other way so I decide to take a look at into the method of washing to see if it helps what I plan to do is to put something on my hand and wash it with different washing methods with soap to see if I can get my hand clean and at first I'm thinking about using the bacteria that I just used in the test but later I I find out that if I'm using those bacteria I might not be able to see if I actually wash my hand or not because I cannot distinguish them from other like bacteria on my hand you know the colony all look like the same so what I need is something that normally wouldn't see on my hand and after that I'll be able to distinguish it on the agar and luckily in my collection there is one bacteria I can think of which for this bacteria normally I wouldn't see this bacteria on my hand and the colony will glow under ultraviolet light so I made some quick test to put this bacteria on my hand and here we can see that normal hand without the bacteria and also the hand that after I put the bacteria on it so that's how I'm going to distinguish it from the uh, rest of the normal bacteria on my hand and I can know if I've washed the glowing bacteria off or not well I know there's a company that making those like glowing stem or pigment whatever uh, to test for this reason like to test whether the hand has been clean or not but I don't have that and I think since I also want to test the difference between normal soap and antibacterial soap using real bacteria might just help a bit here I classify the method of wash into three first one being the loosely wash which I will just loosely rubbing my hand okay and the second one is standard wash which I will rub in the entire part of my hand including uh, my wrist and my finger well you know just like how we used to wash hand and the third one is high intensity wash which I will use a brush trying to clean all the little grooves you know, every part of my hand including little grooves and the uh, under the nail you know that that kind of stuff so 
After I put bacteria on my hand, I will first use water to rinse my hand. Make sure the bacteria will not just get washed off by simply water coming through. And then I will use different wash methods combined with normal and antibacterial soap to wash my hand. And after that, I will stick my hand on the agar plate to see if I actually get my hand clean. And also, there will be one group which I'll only wash with water without any soap. Now, let's see the water only group. That is the group I will use standard and high intensity methods to wash my hand, but not using any soap. So here we can see either the standard methods or the high intensity methods. Both methods, there are quite amount of uh, glowing bacteria that is still remains on my hand. So you could say that it's not being properly washed. So now let's look at the uh, loosely wash group. This is the uh, before wash, which I just put bacteria on my hand. And this is after water rinsing my hand. And this is after wash with uh, normal soap. And you can see there are fairly amount of uh, bacteria still there. Now to the antibacterial soap. So this is before wash. Again, after rinsing with water. And you can see that rin just rinsing with water that does not help, almost help nothing. And this is after wash with antibacterial soap. And you can see there are still fairly amount of the fluorescence colony there. Now let's see the standard wash group. This is before wash. After water rinsing. And this is standard wash with antibacterial soap. You can see there's almost no glowing colony. And then this one is before wash, the normal soap group. This is after water rinsing. Some of the uh, bacteria get washed off somehow. And this is after standard wash. You can see this only a very little uh, glowing colony left. Now we can look at the uh, high intensity wash group, which this is before wash. After water rinsing. And after intense wash with normal soap, you can see some 
a glowing colony. And now is the before wash. Uh, this is the antibacterial soap group. After water rinsing, and last is after intense wash with antibacterial soap. You can see there's almost no a glowing colony. I think there's no like visible glowing colony. So after seeing all those results, although the antibacterial soap performed a little bit better than the normal soap, but I think whether normal soap or antibacterial soap the way of washing is the main factor that is going to decide if the hand is clean or not. Although you still have to use soap though, because our skin normally produces oil and bacteria can use those oil to stick onto our skin. So if you don't use soap, either in the standard wash or high intensity wash methods, you can still get a lot of bacteria remain on the skin. So in conclusion, I think I will use whatever soap I have and wash my hand uh, carefully, then that's clean enough. Of course, there will be like normal bacteria that live on my hand. My hand is not going to be sterilized, but I don't think it's going to affect me in my daily life.